Hi, Everdells. I'm Miss Menefield. I'm going to book talk The Watsons Go to Birmingham, 1963. This is a historical fiction novel by Christopher Paul Curtis, mm -hmm. and you might know this author if you've read Bud Not Buddy. This is a book about a family that lives in Flint, Michigan. They're the Watsons, and it's a mom and dad, and they have three children. There's the oldest, Byron, the middle son, who is the narrator, Kenny, and then they have a little sister called Joetta, but they also call her Joey. And it's a funny book about things that happen with their family. And one thing that's going on is that the older brother, Byron, is starting to get into a lot of trouble. So I'm going to read a part where Byron's been playing with matches. And his mama has said that she will burn him if he continues to play with matches. Byron was fast. Mama was faster. He didn't even make it out of the living room before mama tackled him. Mama sure is a good athlete. She sat on his chest and said, not this time, Buster, this time you pay. She said, Busta. <laughs> Byron squirmed around for a second and then did something I'd only seen him do a couple of times before. He started crying. Mama lit a match and grabbed Byron by the wrist and said, put your finger out. I couldn't believe it. Bye's finger popped right out. He was hypnotized all over again. Mama's horrible snake woman voice came out again and said, if you ever, ever, the match got closer and closer to Byron's skinny brown finger, play with, no, if you even look at, Byron's hand was shaking and he was crying like a big baby, but his finger still stayed out. Another match in this house. The match was getting closer and closer, and I knew Byron could feel the heat. I will personally, by myself, it was so close now that I thought I could hear the sweat on Byron's finger getting turned into steam and going, I will burn not just one finger, I will burn your entire hand, then send you to juvenile home. I must stop there. Byron does continue to get in trouble, and the family eventually decides to take him to Birmingham, Alabama, where his grandmother lives, to send him there for the summer, and if he doesn't learn how to act right, to leave him there. I'm not going to tell you what happens in Birmingham, but it's uh, a, a lot of things happen and a lot of things change for the family, so I highly recommend that you read The Watsons Go to Birmingham, 1963. Thanks.